Hi, welcome to Learn the Stats. Today we're going to be going over an example for Bayes' Theorem. This video comes at a request from a person who left a comment on another video. So just letting you know if you have any recommendations or you want to see a video on a particular subject, just leave it down in the comment section and I will get to it. First I'm going to be going over a word problem, followed by pulling out the variables, explaining the variables, showing how I got the variables, and showing you the answer. Alright, so the question is this. You feel sick. You go to the doctor to see if you are in fact sick. The test the doctor uses is 85% accurate, and 10% of all people are sick at any given time. If you test positive, what is the probability that you are actually sick? This is a situation where you feel sick, you don't, you're not really feeling good, you want to check to see if you are in fact sick. Uh, unfortunately, you're also in a predicament where tests are not 100%, because no tests are 100%, they all have fa false positive and false negative rates. So we're going to be looking at those as we're working through this problem because that's part of how you solve this problem. Now I'm not going to say false positive, false negative in the most technical sense where I'm, I'm giving you the type 1 and type 2 error, but it is important to understand that you need to know that that's what goes into this problem. What's the probability of being sick given that the test is positive? And so what we need is the probability of positive given sick times the probability of sick over the probability of being positive. Now, we're given the probability of positive given sick as 85% or 0.85. We're also given the probability of sick, which equals 0.1. Finally, what we have is probability of being positive. Now, I have this calculation here. It's 0.1 times 0.85, so that's the numerator in our equation that we're trying to figure out. So where am I getting 0.9 times 0.15? So this is very important because I think when it comes to something like this, you need to contextualize what the problem is and not just simply look at the numbers. So imagine, for example, you have 100 people representing 100%. And we want to know, all right, so of that 100 people, how many are sick and how many are not sick based off what we're given. Well, based off the calculations, we know that 10 are sick and 90 are not sick. All right, so that's one level. Now we need to go to the next level. What's the next level? It's about the test. And we know that the test is 85% accurate, which means that 15% of the time it's not. So now we go down a level and we see 10 times 0.85 equals 8.5, which means of the 10 that are sick, 8.5 have a true test of positive. So on the other side of that coin, we have 10 times 0.15, 1.5 people who are sick test negative, yet they are in fact sick. So that, that is the false negative aspect here. Now, if we go to the other side to not sick, we have 90 times 0.85, the accurate rate, to give us 76.5. So 76.5 test truly negative. So the test is saying they are in fact not sick, as well as in reality, they are not sick. The other side is 90 times 0.15 to give us 13.5 people of the 90 that have a false positive rate. And so when you add up all the positives here, the true positive and the false positive, you get 22. And then converting that to the probability of 22 over 100, you get 0.22. And then the same thing for negatives. You get 1.5 plus 76.5 to give you 78, or 0.78 for the probability of negative. So coming back to the probability of positive, it validates that 0.22 is what the probability of positive is because of how I split it up. And you can do this too for any of your exams if it helps you. Now there are other ways of doing this, but I'm doing it from a, a visualization approach because people who are being introduced to Bayes' theorem, more often than not, they want context. And so that's why I went with the diagram as opposed to just saying the probability of positive given sick times the probability of sick plus the probability of not sick times the probability of positive given not sick. 
finally we have all of our numbers what's the probability that you're sick given that you're positive and that is 0 0.85 times 0 0.1 over 0.22 which gives you 0.3864 or 30 around 39 percent this theorem is really good at giving perspective on what a lot of people think are two-dimensional understandings of probabilities uh, because there's a lot of context involved with these problems. Again, this video was done at a request from someone in another video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. It is very helpful. I will also be starting a tutorial through my YouTube channel. I just recently got monetized, which I appreciate greatly with all the people who have been watching my videos and, and getting help from them. Uh, I'm very glad I've been able to help and I'm able to offer more resources. Uh, they will be through the joining button or the membership uh, on the channel. If you want a more one-on-one -on -one approach uh, instead of just a general video on a particular topic, please join if you're interested. If not, you can just watch the videos. I'm going to keep doing them. Thank you for watching and stay nerdy, my friends.